Okay, so these ewes and lambs are about a month old now. They've been kept inside in the shed uh, because the weather's been so wet, the fields are wet. It's just starting to get sunny and dry now. As you can see, the lambs are a really good size. They're really strong, really big. Um, so even though we're having frosts, they're gonna be totally fine outside. Um, and the mums will obviously be happier and it's cleaner and more hygienic as well. So the sooner we can get them out and grazing grass, the better really. So how we do that, when they're this age, is we just get them, you can see there's the stock box, I'm just opening it all up, and we just herd them all on together. When the lambs are smaller, we separate them, put the lambs at the front, but I mean, can you imagine lifting each one of these lambs, or even trying to catch them? You know, I'd be crippled by the end of the day. And there's no need, you know, they're not going to get squashed or trodden on now, uh, now that they're this size. So we just herd them all onto the trailer. Um, I think we can fit about eight ewes uh, in there without them being too cramped. So it'll be three loads. What that does mean is that some of the loads will either leave behind a mum or a ewe, but it's only just down the road and we do it really quickly. So it's only, say, 15 minutes of stress. 15 or 20 minutes of them being separated and they'll soon find each other back in the field again. So uh, we just herd on whoever we can get in a nice small group so they don't get too cramped and then um, release them into the field. So I'll try to do a bit of filming while we're loading but it might get a bit too involved and I might have to stop but then we'll definitely show them being released there out in the field. So what we're doing, because sheep like to get out of any hole possible really, is we're just getting ready to load them. So we've set up a little hurdle race to encourage them to run towards the trailer. We've got straw in there, which stops the floor being sip slippery and uh, it just makes them more inclined to run in there really. And then we've got these barriers and we're tying them so that the sheep won't accidentally push against them and make a bid for freedom here, which we don't want. You know, the best grass is just down the road. So that's where we want them to go because they're at a stage of their milk production now, although at their peak milk production. So we want to support them with lots of nice grass and we'll still be feeding them concentrates, but we will cut that back to just one feed in the morning now. So that'll be, they'll be getting a half a kilo. So they'll be getting a kilo for the first four weeks. That'll be dropping down to half a kilo now, um, just to keep supporting that milk production for the first week or so that they're out on grass. I just can't believe how big these lambs are. They're doing so well. And the lambs are going to love being outside and all the space to run around in as well. You can see them all up there on the edge there. Oh, you two are cute. Doing a lot of hard work over there, Walter. Sitting in all the hay. Okay. So I think we're nearly ready now to get the sheep to run in. There's an old adage, a stitch in time saves nine, and it's definitely the case with sheep and moving sheep. Right. 10 minutes doing hurdles. Really? Just like that. You know, a lot of these ewes are old ewes, and um, you know, they definitely know the trailer means grass, and they're very ready for grass. Come on, little lambs, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
you go, sweeties. Come on. In you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. That's enough, is it? <laughs> Here we are. All loaded. Yeah. So we'll just close the doors, put up the ramp, and we'll see you in the field.